Thank you, organizer, for giving me an opportunity. Good afternoon, everyone. And today I will uh, present uh, this talk on behalf of uh, one of my collaborators, Deepak Kumar. He's not able to, I am Tuhin Malik from University of Coimbra. Deepak is doing his PhD in, uh, he finishes his PhD in uh, Physical Research Laboratory in India. So uh, already the background of my talk is already set in the morning half. So uh, still uh, let me go very quickly uh, and uh, again replace uh, the the pain of the nuclear physics still we have uh, in our uh, those who basically works on equation of state of neutron stars. As you already know that uh, uh, the equation of state of dense matter uh, uh, neutron stars uh, is basically uh, uh, it's a uh, how the energy uh, uh, and the relation between the energy and uh, pressure uh, with um, uh, different densities. You can uh, see that the, we have very precise knowledge of the equation of state at the very low densities from the chiral effective field theory, and we also have a very um, uh, precise knowledge on very at very high density from the perturbative QCD. At in between, we don't have any. Um, uh, um, we need to build some rely on some kind of theory and also um, some kind of observational to constrain these um, um, uncertain regions. So <clears throat> basically, you can uh, see. Uh, if you um, uh, that if you the mass radius properties basically if you give a, as you already in morning up you haven't seen if you just um, uh, observe uh, this equation of state it can be uniquely mapped to the uh, Newton star mass radius properties and if you uh, measure precisely Newton star ma uh, um, properties then you can uniquely pre um, uniquely precise the equation of states but uh, there are recent days there are uh, several studies also shown. if you even if you know very uniquely the equation of state, it is very difficult to decompose uh, its internal compositions, how it's made of. And uh, as you can see, one here, uh, if we just, uh, we have done a simple uh, simple test, uh, we fix the equation of state and just uh, we in, in the theory, we will vary the, all the parameters and you can see that the internal composition, which is purely dependent on nuclear symmetry energy, which is very much uncertain, even you're able to precisely measure the equation of state. Before uh, going, so there are scenarios, there are all possible scenarios is um, uh, possible within the recent observational constants what we have uh, from astro, um, uh, Newton star properties. There may be, could be uh, only the nucleonic assumptions. There can be exotic uh, degrees of freedom, such as high phones, quark matters, antikions, and also the dark matter. And the dark matter also, um, the variety of models, one can um, build uh, depend on different, different theoretical assumptions. And the, there are two types of treatment, uh, what we do uh, when calculate the star properties from the, uh, 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 with dark matter configuration, one is admixed, one, uh, it is dark matter and nuclear matter will interact each other uh, via the, um, uh, Higgs portal. Also, one treatment the two fluid, uh, where the two individual equation of states will interact only via the gravity. And also, there is another possibility to modify the gravity. So, this all uh, now is a matter to how to decouple this all these scenarios. Uh, that's a, a big question. So, <coughs> there are uh, suggestions. The plenty of studies has been done that uh, non radial oscillation of Newton star. Uh, um, could be a very good probe in order to uh, tell uh, that is there any uh, quark matter present or not. There are several studies in recent days um, and um, has been uh, done with different kinds of <laughs> models. Uh, these non-radial uh, oscillation modes, basically the F modes, Z modes are found to be very uh, hopeful uh, to do that. But all these studies, um, uh, the present motivation of the studies, because we we also uh, uh, did similar kind of study, but with some realistic model. All the previous studies either have been done with uh, some kind of meta model for the nuclear matter equation of states, and all the uh, for the quark matter some simplistic uh, MIT back model with improved version of that. But here we have taken the relativistic mean models for nuclear sectors and also the uh, in Nambujana Lasino models for the quark -like sectors. And here uh, we have done a, uh, the two types of um, uh, equations uh, from the uh, nuclear equation of state. One is with, um, normally people in the, do the uh, linear models with nonlinear couplings. One is the nonlinear model with constant couplings. And we have done a mixed-fix configurations. And you can see 
that the uh, and we also consider two types of uh, one is softest and deepest uh, parameterization of the quark matters uh, the equation of states and the mass radius uh, in presence of quark matter will be uh, um, uh, decreasing just like in. and here now I go to the main slide here you can see that uh, you can in the top panel I saw the uh, for the two types of equation of state from the uh, nuclear sectors uh, we, I, in the top plane I plot the F mode frequency with respect to neutron star mass and uh, in the bottom panels I plot the G mode frequencies with respect to masses so I can see that the excitations uh, uh, G modes are, are basically enhanced uh, in, uh, in in the mixed patch configurations. So this precise measurements of these kind of modes can tell about that is there really mixed page exist or not something like that. So before conclude my talk, I will uh, conclude that um, the quark matter is a. Uh, 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 we can say that detecting G modes in binary merger current detector is it's, um, challenging, but the, in the third generation detector uh, such as the Einstein telescopes in future may be able to uh, because these kind of modes are coupled to gravitational wave signals, so it, it is possible to detect in the third generation detectors. And also, uh, the, in the future, uh, this kind, this also it needs to uh, one needs to need to study more robust and rigorously how this kind of uh, the, the presence of dark matter, um, how affects this kind of mode frequencies? There could be, could be there, there could be a scenario that it may uh, affect the, this kind of modes, and uh, the dark matter leaves some kind of signatures to these non-Indian mode oscillations. And thank you. Okay, thank you very much. That's a good speaker. <laughs> well, we have time for one or two questions. No. Oh, okay, Jim. Hi. So, um, in the last slide, when you, when you talk about the shift in the F mode, I mean, not yeah. so the, the, your, your, let's say, money plot, yeah. yeah. Um, so, this depends when the quark phase, when the transition sets in, right? Where you have. Yeah, yeah, when the mode. transition sets in, um, yes. So, would you rather expect that you measure this from the inspur gravitational wave signal, or would this also be possible in the post merger phase, and how would this basically change the picture? How would you try to extract this one from gravitational waves directly? Yeah, I think from the post merger signals. Okay. But all this is for cold material, right? Or do okay. you incorporate temperature effects? No, no temperature effects, no temperature effects. Do you know how the temperature would change? Uh, yeah, that's a, uh, there could be some, I, I have not uh, looked into the temperatures, kind of, yeah, okay. temperature effect is one of the suit. Okay. Also the thing, yeah, that is a. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. More one? I can ask you just specifically. Okay. On this image there, you yeah. are, this is for which L? Is for L equal one, is for a light bulb mode? So L equals to two, yes. L, uh, L, L equals to two. L, okay. L equals to two. Okay. And there's music, okay. Yeah. More questions? We know we stop here. Thank you very much. We pass to the next speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Angel.